Look, being a video editor is probably one of the most amazing jobs you can have. It's literally the process from taking all the amazing footage that was captured and then turning that into the final piece of work. But there's a giant misconception when it comes to video editing. I think especially when it comes to some of our clients, they think there's just this one magic button that we press and then everything that we shot is instantly in a timeline. It looks amazing and we're ready to turn that over. But I think every video editor can tell you that that is definitely not the case. In fact, sometimes it can take days and even weeks to just keep working and crafting and hopefully by the end of that time, you might have actually picked the perfect song for your video, which means now you can actually get to the editing process. But truth be told, editing is a slow burn. And so that's why whenever it comes to finding different ways about making editing faster, I am all in. That's why for me, no matter what it is that helps me get editing faster, I'm in it. Whether that's plugins, keyboard shortcuts, or in today's case with the Loop Deck CT, a physical device that can help you edit your videos faster. Now, personally, truth be told, I've been looking for a tangible physical editing accessory for quite a while and for a couple different reasons. One, I personally find that when I'm working with tangible knobs and dials, I'm able to be a lot more precise when it comes to my color grades and those fine tune adjustments when editing. Another big reason I've been looking at going with one of these type of devices is because, well, I need something that helps me move faster. A lot of times when you're editing, you're working with different pages and different panels within your color and having to switch back and forth can take quite a bit of time, especially when you compound that over months and years of multiple edits. So when you're able to do all that within one panel, that makes your life that much easier. And the third real reason why I've been wanting to do this is really just to try it out. When you look at all the professional colorists out there, they all have an editing panel in front of them. But I've always found one huge major flaw with most of the panels out there. And that is the fact that they only work with one piece of software. In a lot of cases, they might just work in DaVinci or they might only work within Avid or Premiere. Well, the thing that I like the most about the Loop Deck CT is the fact that it can work across all editing platforms and it can even do more than that. But I'm actually getting a little bit ahead of myself. So first, let's start off with what comes in the box. Now, when you pick up your Loop Deck CT, everything you need is in the box itself. You get your Loop Deck CT and your USB-C cable and pretty much that's it. There's no extra hardware or nothing else that you need to plug in for power. It pulls power directly from your computer. And probably one of the most amazing pieces is the fact that all you have to do is download this very specific software which I have links to down below in the description you download this software and then literally it allows you to go through the process of customizing this device for you I think that's probably one of my favorite things about this unit. Sure, there are some built-in panels that make it very easy for you to customize, but everything is 100% customizable, even down to some of the key features that this software offers. For example, you have the ability to not only use this thing within your creative workflow, but you can just use it through your normal system workflow. You can do things like turn up and down the volume. You can even do, which is probably one of my favorites, is launching applications and you can literally launch any application on your Mac. All you have to do is go into the settings, choose what application you wanna actually launch, and they even have a bonus feature that allows you to customize the icon itself. So you can go online, download the icon, have that show up, so then literally what you see is what you launch. And I'd use this all the time when launching Final Cut Motion, even using it to launch certain web pages like opening up YouTube, because let's face it, I probably spend too much time in YouTube, but with the Loop Deck, it allows me to get there even faster. Now on the loop deck itself, you're actually gonna find a couple different buttons. And it's quite a bit going on, but it's actually not that difficult to figure out. First of all, you're gonna have this nice big grid touchscreen. What I like most about this is, as I mentioned before, this is completely customizable and it's very intuitive. Another thing that I like about it is the fact that it's not only tap control, but it is swipe control as well. So you can swipe through and see multiple different pages. And even alongside the grid, you're gonna have another set of touchscreens that directly coincide with the knobs to the left or to the right of them. These knobs are easily customizable and mappable via this touchscreen. All you have to do is swipe up and down to access multiple pages. And then what you see is what the knob now controls. So you can have an entire section 
dedicated to not only volume, but if you're color grading, you can have it dedicated to your highlights, your midtones, or your shadows. Now underneath that, you're gonna find a row of buttons and all of these buttons are typically mapped to different pages. But as I said, everything is customizable. So I have mine set up to be able to go through my editing process. That's right. So I have mine set up in a way where I can control whenever I'm working on my edit, my color and my audio, especially when I'm working in Final Cut, this typically tends to be my editing workflow. And so I love the fact that I can have dedicated mappable buttons to be able to take me through those different portions of my edit and I can very easily switch back and forth no matter what I'm working on. Now you probably didn't miss this, but in the middle is a nice round dial. Now this dial actually serves two different purposes. Yes, you can spin it to control things like your global exposure or your global saturation but another thing that's really awesome is the actual center of this dial is a touch screen which means you can actually use this to add certain colors to your overall hue or to add certain colors to your highlights or your shadows and again this is customizable another nice bonus is when you're not color grading with this this whole thing can actually be used to control your mouse or you can even just use it as a clock so that way you can keep track on how long you've been spending while you're taking your break when you really should be getting back to editing. You know, there is something to having a nice tangible feel to your colors. I mean, especially with those turn knobs, I found myself really being able to dial in my edits exactly the way I want to because you can feel every single click and knob. It's a lot more precise than just using a mouse and keyboard. Now, that being said, I will say that for me, it did take some setting up in order to get it perfectly for me. And that is one nice thing about the customizations. There were some tools that were already on there that I didn't necessarily use, but I was able to quickly take those out and add in the ones that I needed. And quite honestly, that's the way I feel all these panels should work. I wanna thank Loop Deck so much for sending out this unit, allowing me to test it out and sponsoring this video. If you guys are interested in checking out the Loop Deck for yourself, do me a huge favor, check out the links down below in the description so you can check it out and see all of the awesome pieces of software that it can work with. Whether you are an editor or you're a photographer or a filmmaker or a graphic design artist, this thing can work for you and I personally think you should definitely check it out. But thank you guys so much for checking out this video and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.